Hello and welcome to the show. Now, NDI has revolutionized the way we work in all areas of video production, in broadcast events, remote production. Every small or large production can benefit. And despite what some may say, SDI is certainly not dead. We see the need for SDI to be available in the IP world all the time. And AJA have just launched Bridge NDI 3G. And here to tell us a bit more about it is Mark Risby from Digibox. Hi, Mark. Good to see you again. Welcome back to the show. Hi, hello. Great to be here. So, as Matt says, AJA have just announced the launch of Bridge NDI. Give us a quick um, overview of what it actually is and where you see it making an impact in the market. Sure. Um, well, Bridge NDI is part of the, um, the Bridge family now um, that's come out of AJA. So previously, uh, Bridge Live is a one new encoder uh, that supports various different protocols um, for streaming, uh, either for contribution or for distribution. Um, and the, um, the Bridge uh, NDI is a, is a natural evolution of that. It's a, a single U uh, box that gives you uh, up to 16 channels of HD in and out, some bi-directional converter or four channels of 4K uh, in and out from, from SDI uh, mm -hmm. into the, uh, the NDI world. So, you know, it, it's a studio uh, OB type box, you know, for, for people who've got lots of sources out there. And you're 100% right, there's still loads of SDI out there. It's certainly not going away. Um, but we need a bridge to get it in and out of the uh, the IP world. And, and this is a product mm. to do that. Mm. Okay. But there's, you know, I think we, we've got to be honest, there's already quite a wide range of NDI converters out there on the market. What what makes what makes this choice? What makes it different? Well, first of all, um, it's a, it's an AJA product. So, you know, they're a quality company. They understand okay. video processing. They make stuff look good. And the density, you know, one U uh, for 16 channels of HD um, is fantastic. Dual power supplies, you know, it's got dual 10 gig uh, IP sockets. You know, so it, it's something that's designed to fit in a serious environment. Um, there are lots of converters out there, you're right, but, you know, I don't think there's anything that's quite fits this density and uh, this quality. And give right. us an idea of um, where you see it being used. I mean, who are the customers and, and where do you think it's going to help the most? I think at the minute there are quite a few people who have got islands of NDI at the top tier. So people who uh, haven't gone fully IP yet, who've got large infrastructures. Um, so, you know, they would be studios and trucks. You know, trucks don't know what they're going to do anymore. They could be, you know, they could be a major sporting event or they could be doing something from someone's home at the moment, the way that uh, TV production is going in live. So having something on board that can take anything, you know, and make those conversions quickly and easily and fit within your existing infrastructure is really important. Um, so, I, you know, this is a serious product, you know, um, I, I think for, for, for serious people. And you can see this going in 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 banks of, you know, in trucks, you, you're going to, with the number, you could, you know, if you've got a lot of, inputs you've got a lot of sdi devices out there you could you could bank this and and and, and have this in multiples i mean you certainly could do i mean the reality is that if you're going to go for that many channels of ip you're likely to be running in an ip environment running it yeah um, okay, know, fair having enough. too many gateways becomes much as i'd like you to buy them from me does become quite pricey but there are also there are a lot of ip trucks out there for example that are running 20 you know 2110 um, so they might have an island for a, a small amount of NDI uh, to connect to existing gateways they've got. Um, there are people running temporary setups, you know, conferences, things like that, you know, where there are still a lot of SDI cameras out there. And, you know, uh, some of the conferences and some of the, the shows that we're doing these days that replace what would have been a live event before, um, you know, have many more cameras than they, they would have done. So, you know, this gives you a way of really, you know, yeah, exactly. that. you can stick yeah. a, a bridge live somewhere near where the cameras are and just run a fiber back from them or a cat six back from them, you know, back um, yeah. to the truck, you know, which really, you know, improves your density uh, and makes your cabling simpler. So, Mark, I mean, you're at the, the front line, I guess, of seeing how the industry is transitioning to IP. How, how do you see it generally? How, how is that transition? I mean, are we going to need products like the, uh, the Bridge NDI 3G for, you know, like 10 or 15 years? Or do you see people moving to IP in a very accelerated rate right now? Um, certainly, COVID's accelerated some adoption of IP, um, NDI particularly. I mean, NDI brings the price point of, of IP uh, right down. You know, typically it's running on one gig networks instead of 10, 20, 40 gig networks. And that's allowed people to move quite quickly and at a reasonable price. And one thing we see in a post-COVID landscape is people need to be flexible. And IP really makes a difference. Um, 
I also can say we sell a lot of SDI product. You know, I, I, it's not going away. 12 gig particularly, we're seeing a, a lot of interest in 12 yeah. gig and we have a lot of products out there, you know, that people are currently buying. So whether it's 10 or 15 years, I mean, that's such a long way in the distance. I'm barely having trouble seeing past, you know, the, the end of this month right now. Um, but, you know, I, I, yeah. I think we're probably going to see a few more years of, of transitioning going on for certain. Um, but, you know, we're seeing some people wholly move to IP, you know, very quickly. And it's not always where you think, you know, the, the AV and the enterprise and the, um, you know, those sort of uh, spaces are, are, are moving very quickly. Um, and I've seen people go both for 2110 and for NDI um, a lot quicker than I thought they would. They have, they have less legacy thinking, I think, and they have less perhaps equipment already installed to worry about that they're able to move quickly on a, you know, on an event basis and know they need to, re you know, reconfigure quite regularly mm. and see the benefits of IP much earlier. Yeah, one of the nice things about IP is the ability to control and, um, and, 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 you know, or control, software control of things remotely uh, a lot easier than it, than it used to be. Now, of course, I'm assuming that this, going quickly back to the uh, Bridge NDI, is that that f fits in that bracket. There, it, it, it works with all of the AJA control software. It's got its own web interface. It can be controlled from anywhere. It's yeah. very comprehensive. You can view all your sources. You can reconfigure it, monitor it, you know, um, all, all of those type of things are standard. Absolutely. And a lot of things are included in NDI that make remote work very, very well. So, you know, yeah. it is very yeah. easy to throw up a monitor somewhere on a laptop to see what's going on. And of course, NDI 5 um, is just being launched now. And that specifically has things in the protocol for doing remote workflows. Um, to take cameras and sources from anywhere and see them appear on your local network over a WAN. Um, so, so very much that's you know that's the way that protocol is going and recognizing that we don't work the same way anymore. So, yeah. Yeah. are these are these available shipping now, Mark? Where can people find out more? They are shipping. Um, we have our first uh, our first shipment on the way over right now. Um, you can find out more from our website, which is www.digi-box.co.uk. Brilliant, Mark. Thank you very much. Do check out that website. Uh, thank you to Media Proxy, as always, for their support, Kit Plus TV. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.